Hello learners, I am Priyanka Patel and today I am going to explain about quality control of plastic as packaging material. If you want to learn about types of plastic as packaging material for sterile formulation, go through my playlist and learn about types of plastic for sterile formulation. Learning objective of this video is after going through the video, learners will be able to understand about quality control test to check integrity of plastic according to IPN USP. Let's start with quality control of plastic packaging material according to USP 2015. First is biological test. Biological test for plastic packaging material determines in two parts in vitro test and in vivo test. In vitro test again classified into three different classes agar diffusion test, direct contact test and elution test. So start with in vitro test. What is meaning of in vitro test? So in in vitro test, generally cell culture is used and influence of extract of plastic material on cell culture kinetic it is determined by different technique. So what is negative control and positive control and test sample? So negative control is high density polyethylene reference standard material which qualify the test according to USP. Positive control is polyurethane film containing zinc diethyl dithiocarbonate or zinc dibutyl dithiocarbonate which is used as a positive control. So simple meaning over here positive and negative is as positive control which may having cytotoxic effect on the cell and which may produces degeneration of the cell. And negative control is which is not having any cytotoxic effect on the cell. So start with first type of test. What is meaning of agar diffusion test? So in agar diffusion test, first cell culture is prepared in petri plate and above the cell culture, agar layer is added. That agar layer serve as a cushion and prevent mechanical damage to the cell. Above the agar layer, filter paper which consists of test extract it is added that is test sample containing filter paper is placed so how test extract is prepared so test extract is generally prepared in different extraction medium like 0.9 percent NaCl solution water or vegetable oil and it consists of plastic or elastomeric closer sample and it is autoclaved at 121 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes or 70 degrees Celsius for 24 hours in oven and that sample extract is used as a test sample and for that cytotoxic effect is to be determined on cell culture. So in agar diffusion cell over the agar layer filter paper containing test extract is placed and it is incubated and after incubation grade is given in terms of 0 to 4. Test passes if test sample is not having more than 2 grade that is mild reactivity. Zone limited to area under specific under specimen and less than 0.45 cm beyond specimen. And for negative control it should be 0 and for positive control it should be moderate reactivity that is 3. Next one is direct contact test. So in direct contact test specimen having flat surface of not less than 100 mm square surface area is used as a sample. Then after cell and test article are incubated together after 24 hours of the sample and they are examined under inverted phase contrast microscopy for reactivity towards the cell. So in agar diffusion test and direct contact test there is only one difference. In agar diffusion test it consists of agar which act as a cushion layer and prevent mechanical damage to the cell. In direct contact test, it consists of cell culture and in cell culture direct test specimen is added and both are incubated together and the reactivity is determined and it is determined again in terms of grade 0 to 1. So test passes if it is having a mild reactivity. If we consider limitation for direct contact test is it cannot be used for very low density substances or very high density material. 
to prevent mechanical damage to the cell because if substance is very less in a density it remain floated on the surface and if material is having very high density it will provide mechanical damage to the cell and we will be having a false result next one is elution test in elution test the test article is incubated in extraction vehicle like 0.9% sodium chloride solution or vegetable oil they are incubated for 24 hours and that vehicle is then added to the cell culture suspension and they are incubated again for 24 hours and 48 hours of period and after that scoring is observed for the reactivity of substance towards the cell in grade of 0 to 4 and if again it is 2 or less than 2 it passes the test. Next is in vivo test. In vivo test can be classified in three different types systemic injection test, intracutaneous test and implantation test. But before going to the test we have to understand that how sample is prepared and how plastics are classified and how test is evaluated. So if we consider if manufacturer of the plastic material wants to certify their plastic according to the USP, they can certify their plastic into six different class. Class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And according to that class, they have to perform the different tests. If plastic is to be used for some implant drug delivery, it must class, it must certify the type 6 of the class according to the USP. So this checkbox consists of type of test to be performed for specific plastic material certification. So if some vendor wants to supply their plastic material as class 1, they have to perform they have to perform extraction of sample in sodium chloride injection that is 0.9% of NaCl solution. Animal is to be used as mouse and rabbit and they have to perform two types of test. A stands for the systemic injection test through IV. In bracket, this IV meant intravenous and second one is intracutaneous test. So this indicate for this checkbox indicate type of test to be performed for a specific class of plastic. If we consider class 6, it is very strict and for that all test is to be performed. So what is basic difference between this systemic injection intracutaneous and implantation test? So if we consider systemic injection and intracutaneous test, they determine the systemic and local effect respectively biological response of animal to plastic and other polymer like elastomers in specific extract prepared from sample. The implantation test is designed to evaluate the reaction of living tissue to the plastic and other polymer by implantation of the sample itself into animal. So in systemic injection test and intracutaneous test, extract of the sample is administered into the animal and their effect is determined on the body and in implantation test plastic material itself is administered into animal that is sample is administered into animal and their effect on local tissue is determined in implantation test. So start with how sample is prepared. So as you can see over here depending upon the types of plastic different types of sample is you different type of extraction medium is used. How plastic is selected? So for selection of plastic, if surface area cannot be measured, 0.1 gram of plastic, 0.1 gram of elastomer can be weighed and 0.2 gram of plastic can be weighed and for each 0.1 gram elastomer or 0.2 gram of plastic, 1 ml of extracting fluid is added and it is autoclaved at 121 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes or 70 degrees Celsius for 24 hours in O1. So if we consider film or a sheet less than 0.5 mm thickness equivalent of 120 cm square total surface area on both the side and it is divided into strip of 5 into 0.3 cm which is to be used for the extract preparation. Then after extract is prepared and it can be performed, it can be used for systemic injection test or intracutaneous test. So how systemic injection test is performed? In systemic injection test, first of all, Mice are divided into two group blank and test and in each group there are five animals and they are given specific dose of blank and extract. So 
So as we have discussed extract preparation, it is given to the animal and they are observed for the reaction for 24 hours, 48 hours and 72 hours. It passes the test if no two or more mice die or if there is no any conversion or post reaction occur in two or more mice or if body weight loss is not greater than 2 gram. But if any of this kind of reaction occur, sample preparation does not meet the requirement. And in that case, in another group of 10 mice, we have to perform the test. And if there is no significant biological reactivity, then only sample meet the test requirement. Next one is intracutaneous test. So in intracutaneous test, sample and blank are administered to the five different sites into the animal and 200 microliter of doses administered. After administration of dose to the five different sites, animal are observed for this below skin reactions for 24 hours, 48 hours and 72 hours. And sample passes the requirement if score between blank and test sample is not more than one. In that case, for example, you can see over here, no arrhythmia, its score is 0, very slight arrhythmia, its score is 1. So, in that case, difference between blank and sample, if it is less than 1, then it passes the test. Next is implantation test. So, in implantation test, as we can see, if drug delivery is administered into a body, it is necessary that plastic material is not having any biological reactivity. So, in implantation test, sheet of the plastic material is administered into animal. So, for that, 8 strips of sample and 4 strips of reference standard, which is high density polyethylene, is used, which is not less than 10 into 1 mm. And it is administered into anim animal. And rabbit is used as animal with average weight of 2.5 kg. Then after, after 120 hours, animals are observed for necrosis of the tissue or discoloration or infection or hemorrhage on the surrounding tissue and they are scored in 0 to 4. So, if it does not exceed greater than 1, sample means the requirement. Next is physicochemical test. So, for physicochemical test, we have to first prepare blank and sample solution. So, how sample solution is prepared? So, as we have discussed here, extraction of plastic material is done into some specific extract vehicle and that solution is used for the further evaluation. So, how it will work actually? So, if we consider if you expose plastic material in extraction medium to autoclave condition or to oven condition, it may lead to leaching of plastic content into extraction vehicle. And further, it can be used for the determination of their biological activity or their physicochemical constituent. So, blank is the purified water which is kept to the same condition as that of the test solution. How sample is prepared? So, for the sample preparation, we have to use a plastic specimen which is having 120 centimeter square surface area and it is to be divided into 3 mm width and 5 centimeter length for each 20 ml. So, for 20 ml, 120 centimeter square surface area of plastic is to be used. It is to be washed with water two times and then after extraction medium is added. Depending upon the type of plastic, type 1, 2, 3 or a 6, we have to, we can select different type of extraction medium and it is to be heated for 24 hours. Then it is heated on water bath at temperature specified into the extracting medium as we have discussed in in vivo test either 121 degrees Celsius or you can use 70 degrees Celsius in oven and 121 degrees Celsius 60 minutes for autoclave and you have to cool it to 20 degrees Celsius and from that we can use sample for the next procedure. First test is non-volatile residue. So for non-volatile residue in two crucible we have to use 50 ml of blank and test we have to dry it at 105 degree Celsius temperature for hour and difference between blank and test does not exceed the 15 mg. If here weight is more than 5 mg, 
then we have to perform residue on ignition so in residue on ignition we have to add sulfuric acid in both the crucible and after ignition the difference should not be more than 5 mg next is buffering capacity in buffering capacity we have to take 20 ml of portion of sample extract and potentiometrically we have to titrate it to the pH 7 using either 0 0.01 normal XCL or 0 0.01 normal NUH depending upon the pH of the preparation we have to use either acid or base as a titrant and we have in same manner we have to titrate 20 ml of blank with either acid or base and difference between test and blank should not be greater than 10 if both the sample are treated with the same solution for example if both are acidic test and sample and if they are treated with the base only that is 0 0.01 normal and NH only and the volume should not be greater than 10 ml and if one is acidic and another is basic and both are treated with different solution in that case total of two volume required for the titration should not be greater than 10 ml next is integrated testing according to ip 2018 so according to ip Test for the plastic is divided into plastic container for non-parenteral preparation and plastic container for parenteral preparation. We will emphasize only plastic container for parenteral preparations. So in plastic container for parenteral preparation, first test is leak test. So in leak test, we have to fill 10 containers with water, fit with intended closure and we have to keep them inverted at room temperature for 24 hours and the test is said to be passed if there is no sign of any leakage from any container. Next is collapsibility test. So in collapsibility test, it is applicable only for the container in which squeezing is required to remove the container. A container by collapsing inward during the use, it should yield at least 90% of its normal content at the required rate of flow at ambient temperature. For further test, we have to prepare test solution so half solution S is called as the test solution. So half solution S is prepared. So for solution S, container is to be filled with the nominal capacity for which we have to perform the evaluation test. And we have to close it and we have to keep it in auto for 30 minutes at 121 degree Celsius. Generally 20 to 30 mi minutes is required to reach the temperature. And after reaching the temperature, we have to keep it for 30 minutes. If container get deteriorated, at 121 degrees Celsius, then we have to perform autoclaving at 100 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. And we have to use the solution as within 4 hours of the preparation. Blank preparation. So blank is prepared in borosilicate flask by exposing the water to the same condition as that of the solution S. First test is clarity and color of solution S. This solution should be clear and it is compared with the IP reference standard solution and solution is considered as colorless or specific color when it is measured with the specific standard solution of the IP. Next one is acidity and alkalinity test. So in acidity and alkalinity test, we have to take 4% of nominal capacity of the container volume and in that we have to add phenolphthalein. If it is colorless, we have to titrate it with the base. If it is pink in color, we have to titrate it with the acid and it should not consume more than 0.4 ml of NaOH and 0.8 ml of HCl. Next is light absorption. So light absorption in that solution is scanned in a range of 230 nanometer to 360 nanometer using blank as the blank solution and it should not have absorbance more than 0.20. Next is reducing substance. So in reducing substance, we have to use 20 ml of solution as we have to add 1 ml of dilute sulfuric acid, 20 ml of 0.002 molar potassium pumping in it. We need to boil it for 3 minutes. Then we have to cool it immediately and we have to add 1 gram of potassium iodide and we need to titrate it against 0.01 molar sodium thiosulfate using starch as indicator. And same procedure is to be carried out for the blank and difference should not be greater than 1.5 ml. Next is transparency. So here we have to perform transparency of container. That means after autoclaving, that means after exposing to the container to the high temperature and pressure, if container 
remain transparent or not that we have to observe. In that case, we have to fill the, the same container which was used for the preparation of solution S with its nominal capacity with the 200 times dilution of the standard suspension for polyethylene and polypropylene container and for container of other material we have to use 400 times dilution of the standard suspension. What is standard suspension? We have to prepare the standard suspension and the procedure for the same is given into Indian pharmacopoeia. The cloudiness of the suspension is perceptible when viewed through the container and compared with the similar container filled with the water. So upon comparison of same container with water and suspension, cloudiness should be appear. Next is test on the container material. Determination of barium, heavy metal, tin and zinc and residue on ignition is done for test on container material that is for raw material or for the granules. Next is biological test. According to IP, only in vivo biological test is performed, no in vitro biological test is performed. In in vivo biological test, two types of test is performed, which is intracutaneous test and systemic injection test. And it is same as that of the USP. With this, I conclude my video and these are the references. Thank you everyone for watching my video. If you have any query, you can contact me on given address. Once again, thank you.